Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. Uh, in this replay we have No Hit, Sabrina Carpenter and the 53 TP. What? Um, yeah. The tier 8 tank tree, Polish heavy tank. Um, it's, it's a very underappreciated vehicle, I guess. Um, but it's very average. Like, this vehicle doesn't have anything special. Um, it has okay armor, the upper plate is terrible, it's trash, it gets penetrated by everything. Lower plate is kind of, um, troll because of the angles. It has a bouncy turret, but it does have a capola that can be penned easily. So, it's kind of like the gun is okay, you have the nice 420 alpha damage. Um, 245 gold round pen, if anyone is one, this is, this is the gold round. Um, standard round is 218. Uh, Sabrina actually has the regular rounds as in the second slot because the goal rounds are the standard these days for some people um but like 53 tp is not a vehicle you see very often right neither in replays and in, in videos at all or or inside the game like it's not a vehicle that i've ever like i see every single time you know it's not um it's not a projectile it's not a barrasque it's not an even 90 a piece of 176 those types of vehicles that everybody seems to be playing these days it's just kind of like that quiet 53 tp at the side you know being uh, good enough in everything so yeah let's see how it goes today but it is tier 10 matchup tier 10 tier 9 vehicles on both sides with a tier 8 as well so this is kind of like almost the worst matchup you can get in with this vehicle and those tier 10s are definitely not your, uh, you know, your easily destroyed tier 10 vehicles. The enemy team has the AMXM 454, one of the best heavies at tier 10. The T95 FE401, aka the Chieftain. Overpowered piece of trash, my goodness, that Chieftain is. Um, and the E3, the T110 E3, which is the American tank destroyer, the non semi-turreted um, tank destroyer, which is just crazy with the amounts of armor that it has. So those are three very, very dangerous vehicles um, on the enemy team. Unfortunately, that shell into the T26E5 did not go through. That would have been a kill shot on the T26E5, and now they can just escape because this vehicle doesn't have amazing DPM as well. It's like alpha damage is the only thing that this vehicle has, which is above average, I'd say. DPM, average, accuracy, average, mobility, average, V-range, below average even, I'd say. <clears throat> uh, but the alpha damage, there we go. 474 damage done to the Type 57, it's actually 420, so this was a high roll. But this vehicle is kind of like, you know, you don't have good armor, you don't have good gun, you don't have good anything. You just average at everything. So it all comes down to your skill, I guess. It just depends on the matchmaking, on how you use your vehicle, where you take it, how you take it to it. I mean, it's up to the player to make use of the vehicle, right? So Sabrina's going to show you exactly how to make use of the 53 TP in this video. Even though, you know, it doesn't seem like this is going to be an easy game to win. Down by 5,000 or 6,000 almost hit points already. And, uh, um, yeah, five five vehicles. But maybe this is going to be a kill shot. Maybe you can find the side of the... There we go. Type 7 turned to what? The Type 7 turned. So, like, side armor. Easy pen, easy kill. Um, I guess, I guess RNG decided not today. Not today. Into the side of the MXM 454. Luckily, this time it does go through. That MXM 454 is a crazy vehicle, like I said. One of the best tier 10 heavies at the moment. Even though it did get nerfed, it's still one of the best, in my opinion. Um, so, what is Sabrina going to do over here against the AMX M454, against the E3? Two very dangerous tier 10 vehicles. Luckily, they do have the support of the VZ55 and the VK4502B. Putting one to the E3. The MX is still. Very healthy, this is backside of the MX, there we go, into the backside. 446 damage, the VK is trying to go forwards, trying to shut down the MX. The MX goes after the VZ55, unfortunately shutting down the Czechoslovakian, a tier 10 heavy. And now it is two tier 10 vehicles against a poor tier 8 
and a tier 9. Luckily, they're both full health, so they do have a fighting chance over here. Stop your advance, says the VK. He wants to fall back, wants to get out of that situation. It is understandable. Um, fighting two of uh, currently the best tier 10 vehicles might not be the best option, right? So, what are they going to do? And now we're requesting support. Okay. I guess the VK just wanted to find a better angle to fight this um, this fight against the MX against the E3. He tries to go after the E3 over here. Doesn't pen, unfortunately. That E3 is a one-shot. Okay, the RT hits him again, making him even, <laughs> even more of a one-shot, I guess. Uh, maybe an HG round by the VK can finish off the E3. Just gonna have to wait and see. But there we go. Sabrina notices that the East is going to crumble, you know, having a chieftain push through the East. They have no chance. Okay, there's the E3. Unfortunately, it doesn't go through the E3, but bounces the E3's chunky boy shell 750 damage over here. That was, the, it's like half of your hit points saved by the tracks. Trying to find the shot into the Capolo. Can't actually pin the Capolo. Switching to an HE round. That can actually work. Can you do enough damage though? Into the component of the E3. Can we get the kills? Yeah, there we go. Getting the kill on the E3 with the HE round. Amazing, amazing switch by Sabrina over here. Now turning the attention to the M454 with the help of the VK. Unfortunately, the MX does go through, but now the MX is one shot. The VK shuts down the AMX after Sabrina puts a lovely 460 damage round into them. Changing this game from uh, 96 to 97, now it's 10 8. It's, it's just constantly changing. The East is crumbling, though. Like we said earlier, this is not looking good. Still, Chieftain, we don't know how much hit points the Chieftain has, though. Might be a one shot for all we know. But it is just Sabrina. It's the lovely VK that support it does over here in the city. A Vipra towards the East with the FV305 to support all of us. It is 11 to 9 in favor of the enemy team. So we're going back to base, as you should. I mean, like, you can try to push forwards over here. See if you can take uh, take the enemy's base. But that chieftain is pretty mobile, even though it did get nerfed uh, recently. It can still get a base. There's still artillery that can just splash you. So trying to fight it out is the best option over here. Okay, so Vipra is a one-shot. 287 hit points is... Uh, Definitely not enough. One shot to everyone, actually. The M103 can one shot it. The Mark Panzer, the Middle Era Camp Panzer, just called Mark Panzer. Um, TS5, as, as you can see, the Middle Era Camp Panzer actually finishing off the Vipra, but luckily the artillery just gets through the side with a 643 damage roll into the Middle Era Camp Panzer. Amazing stuff over here, but the Chieftain is still on 1100 hit points. Gonna catch the side of the Chieftain over here. There we go. Unfortunately, that low roll, 406 damage only. Leaving the Chieftain on 761 HP. TS5 is watching from the middle as well. TS5 is still full health. Artillery catches the Chieftain, you could see, because the there was no splash, right? That means it directly hit an enemy vehicle. Trying to go forwards over here against three vehicles. Maybe that's a bit too much. Maybe that's a bit too much, Sabrina, but the Chieftain is on 690 hit points. Trying to push forwards. Sabrina's trying to find the shot into the low plate. It's still gold over here, of course. You can't switch to ranking rounds right now. And into the side of the Chieftain, there we go, Chieftain, and it's a one-shot, 200 hit points for the enemy Chieftain, it's actually making a lot of mistakes right now, a lot of mistakes by the Chieftain, unfortunately the artillery hits Sabrina instead of the Chieftain, stunning Sabrina over here, Chieftain putting one, but finishing off the Chieftain, that was lovely, that was lovely, over 1000 damage into the Chieftain, but now it's just a rush by the enemy vehicle, need to finish off the Minera campaigns, or make it a 1v1 with the M103, there we go. But it's a very healthy M103 that is likely using the small gun, the small 320 alpha damage gun. M103 on 1,400 hit points now with the artillery going forwards to shoot them. One to the turret, into the side of the turret of the M103. But now Sabrina is a one shot against a, what was it, a four shot M103. Crazy stuff, trying to block the gun with the gun, blocking the shell over here. Luckily the M103 can't seem to catch the weak spots on the 53 TP. And what is this? The artillery is coming forward for a shotgun. <laughs> Go for it, Arty. Go for it, Arty. Yes. <laughs> 278 damage by the artillery, leaving the M103 on 412 hit points. That was actually enough to now make the M103 a one shot. So, there we go. Just one more shell. One more shell without a level is all we need. Into the side of the turret. Maybe. Maybe. Into the side of the hull. Trying to find something. Upper plate. Oh no. Oh no. Capola. Yes. And. 
a huge lower. It's 375 damage. Oh no. Oh no, don't give the side armor. Turn, turn, Supreme. Don't let the M103 pen. Oh my goodness. It's at M103 fires HG, luckily. And Supreme puts one into the side of the M103. Crazy stuff happening over here, but the, we still, we still can't. You know, relax for even a second. The TS5 is over here fighting the VK4502B, which is only on 593 hit points right now. It is a two shot to the TS5, which has amazing DPM. Need to watch out, need to be aggressive, need to catch that TS5 in a crossfire. But so far, it was a lovely game by Sabrina over here, finishing off the Chieftain first, and then just, you know, ignoring that M103, finishing off the middle area Kampanzer, and then having a 1v1 with the M103. You can't have multiple people shooting at you at once because you will just die you will lose the battle that'll shoot you from both sides you can't do anything so focusing down the low health vehicles was the right choice focusing down the chieftain was huge like doing 1100 damage over there with the support of the artillery by the way shutting down the chieftain the fv3805 that unfortunately died to the m103 earlier hats off to you saluting that artillery for you know playing aggressively focusing the right people doing everything that they needed to do but there we go that's what i said earlier you can't have two people shooting at you at once from two different angles it's not going to work as the ts5 just figured out right vk pushing forwards ts5 on 600 vk on 590 we have sabrina on 300 it's actually 246 now with the m103's he shell that i forgot okay who relax <sighs> This game, this game is just, is too much. Unfortunately, the TS5 goes through the VK45 HGB, leaving them on 209 hit points. They are now a one-shot, two of, both of the vehicles are actually one-shots over here. Both the 53 tb and the VK45 O2B are one-shots, but Sabrina's trying to flank the TS5. The VK just needs to hold. Just hold in your position. Don't let the TS5 push. Let Sabrina get behind the TS5 and do the damage. And there we go. There we go. This is what we need, a crossfire, get behind, put one into the backside of the TS5. Delicious, just push forwards, just, okay, it's up to you now, VK. It's up to you now, VK, the, v the TS5 actually bounces off the VK on missing. I think the VK missed as well, they could hear a big chunky shell. And now the TS5 pushes forwards into the VK. Don't, don't, <laughs> the TS5 finishes off the VK 4502B, unfortunately. The one that helped us in the city earlier. Urgh. Okay, I like what Sabrina's doing here, trying to flank the TS5. The TS5 was turning towards us, so it might try to still push was where we were earlier. But the TS5 actually turns as well into the no enemy because you can There we go. Oh no. Oh no. That was... That was crazy. That was crazy. The TS5 actually tried to trick Sabrina as well. They're both doing the same trick. Lucky Sabrina with a clutch shot into the lower plate of the TS5. Uh, setting that there's no time. Hmm. It's only two minutes left on the battle, suddenly to find a 50 TP that wasn't spotted and an artillery at the back of the map. Um, so, yeah, the artillery can actually be killed with a one shot. But if you switch to HE, it is definitely going to be a one shot with 550 alpha damage. Question is can you pen? Can you pen the artillery? If you can't, it's just going to take a lot of time to reload the shell again. And those are shells that you will need for the 50 TP as well, because that is a very healthy vehicle. You need all the time you can. It's just fire on reload. Just fire on reload. As soon as you spot someone, fire. Fire. Unfortunately, the 50 TP is the one spotted first. They have a hardening device. <coughs> 2,140 hit points. Um, so, yeah, it's going to take quite a while. But there's the artillery. There's the artillery, not aiming at the right area. Is the artillery AFK? Maybe. Or maybe they just don't want to shoot. I don't know. 50 TP? Okay, looks like the 50 TP is AFK. But now the question is, does Sabrina have the DPM to actually finish off this 50 TP? The sirens go off one minute. One minute. Is the 50 TP going to wake up suddenly as well? We don't know. Two into the 50 TP. <laughs> And I like what Sabrina's doing here. Slowly going forwards and then stopping when they're just about to fire to be able to get the accuracy. But like you could see that they're about to um, run out of premium rounds, right? You need to go around, you need to shoot the backs, and need to shoot the side with regular rounds if you want to penetrate reliably. There we go. One. Uh, it's actually a low roll, 390. That means we need two more shells. I want to be a high roll. Please be a high roll. Please be a high roll. 
Is it a high roll? It is not. It is a low roll again. 19 seconds. Well, you do have the reload, but you can't bounce. You just have to go through. No weird stuff, RNG. No weird stuff, RNG. And there we go. And there we go. Absolutely crazy game by no hit Sabrina Carpenter over here doing 8,300 damage and 7 kills with the 53 TP against tier 10 vehicles. And like usually when you see those results in a tier 8 to 10, most of the damage was against the tier 8 vehicles, right? But over here we have 1,300 damage into the MXM 454. We have 1,100 damage into the Chieftain which is one of the most dangerous tier 10 vehicles, shutting down the E3 with an HE round as well, doing all of the damage against the AFK 50 TP, which is a tier 9 as well, so... It's M103, 1200 damage, it's just amazing, it's crazy, this is a crazy, crazy, crazy game, like... Not something you see at all, with a tech tree tier 8 vehicle, especially not the 53 TP, which is, like I said at the start, very average, you know? Not the fastest, not the most heavily armored, doesn't have the best gun, just no V range, right? 370 base V range, which is definitely not good. It's just average in everything. And Sabrina was able to to just turn it into this monster that does 8,300 damage against tier 10 vehicles. So, absolutely crazy game. Crazy, crazy, crazy game, Sabrina. GG, well played. How crazy was it exactly? Let's go and check in. The post game stats. There we go. Ace Tanker, obviously, for the 2402 base experience. Ridiculous, ridiculous stuff. High caliber for the 8371 damage done. And a top gun for the 7 kills. 30 shots fired, 28 hit, 23 penetrated. Um, yeah, 8371 damage. 800 from a distance of more than 300 meters. 8 hits received. 3 penned, 4 didn't, which is actually rather surprising. Um, with a 53 TP, you don't really expect to not get penned that often. You do have very weak upper plate, like I said. If you see a 53 TP, shoot the upper part of the hull, the lower part is actually stronger. Or the cupola, of course. So luckily, I guess the enemy team didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Bouncing quite a few shells, 1,040 damage blocked by armor. 10 vehicles damaged, 7 destroyed. Crazy stuff. 400 damage caused with the assistance and 4.73 kilometers travel. It's like push north, then fall back, then try to go south, and then you need to cut back up north again and then push towards the enemy bases. Just being everywhere, just being everywhere, and getting the win with only seven seconds remaining on the battle, right? Making a small profit as well. Even though Sabrina did fire only gold, like gold exclusively, until uh, they ran out of gold. Still making a small 7,000 credit profit. But, you know, when you get such a result, you don't really care about the credits. You don't really care about all that stuff. You just had an amazing game. 16,000 experience in total. With all the reserves, with all of the, um, the bonuses, missions, stuff like that. Over 1,000 free XP as well. But the damage, the damage, and just... Doing a lot of it against the tier 10 vehicles, you know, the enemy team had three. They had three tier 10 vehicles. We can't actually see it by tier. But they had the Chieftain, they had the AMXM 454, and they had the T123. Those are three extremely deadly tier 10 vehicles. Okay, like the Chieftain is one of the best, if not the best, heavy tank. The AMXM 454 is one of the best tech tree heavy tanks, and the E3 is one of the best tank tree tank destroyers inside the game and just just look what sabrina did over here t95 the chieftain 1096 damage and the kill mxm 454 1374 damage not getting the kill the vk actually got the kill and also the e3 shutting the e3 down with an he round into the capola over there it's it's just crazy stuff you don't see this at all okay like this is probably the first time ever that I've seen someone at tier eight just dominate, like a tier eight tech tree vehicle. Okay, it's not a BZ one seven six. It's not a Borask. It's not something that can can outplay higher tier vehicles because of its pure OPness. I guess it's an average vehicle. It's just your average 
tech tree heavy dominating against tier 10 vehicles which was lovely to see i just loved you know especially that chieftain part you all know that i have uh, something against chieftain players I'm not going to go into that though and and it was just awesome i really love this game i really really love this game it's not something that i got to see before and yeah amazing stuff no hit sabrina carpenter gg well played awesome 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 game from start to finish loved every single second of this um, but yeah, this is it. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the 53 TP? Do, do you think it's actually good? Bad? Uh, average? Right? Maybe kind of your average tank tree vehicle? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, this is it for this video. Once again, like I need to say, I need to say congratulations, Sabrina Carpenter. It's, it's amazing game. Amazing game. Hats off to you. Um, but yeah, this is it for this video. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching, for being awesome. Stay awesome, stay safe. I'll see you all in the next video. Tatas, have a good one.